Hey, hey, what's up, world? It's me, your girl, Angela, with CP3, Charles Parker. What's going on? Today is week five, day two of my fitness model training. And today we want to talk about sacrifice. You know, yeah. in order to get something, you have to give something. And anything worth having, you have to work for it. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about I am a Pepsi lover. I love, love, love my Pepsi. I can drink Pepsi at night when I wake up to go to the restroom. When I wake up in the morning, it's my coffee. Yeah. When I'm at work all day, I drink and I eat. But I know it's not good for me, not only because it's a dark soda, but it's just not good. But for years, I've been talking about I'm going to give up Pepsi. But what I realize is that I hate, hate, hate for people to tell me what to do. So people say, Pepsi is not good for you. You need to give it up. You need to give it up. You need to give it up. And I'm like, okay, I'm not doing drugs. I drink Pepsi, so let me have my Pepsi. But working with Charles Parker and getting my body together, I realized that I was only hurting myself. So I decided that Angela want to get away from Pepsi. Not because you want me to, because I want me to. Right. So it's all about a mindset. You have to make up your mind to do better for you. So this is what I decided to do. I decided that I won't buy Pepsi to put in my house, that when I stop to the grocery store or a gas station, I'll buy one and um, I drink it. But what I do is before I drink it all, to make sure I don't drink the entire Pepsi, I pour it out. So I'm winging myself off Pepsi and I Good realize idea. that you have to make a sacrifice, right? Yeah, and absolutely. It, yeah. So you have sacrifices you make? I do and uh, people may not know about it, but Whenever you're a fitness model and you're preparing for a contest, it gets really tough those last few weeks with your diet. You know, there's a lot of sacrifices I had to make as far as my carbohydrate intake. Um, so I get sugar cravings out this world. You know, I'm craving foods that I normally wouldn't eat because I'm just depriving my body of, of nutrients, you know, of calories that I'm so used to getting when I'm preparing for the show. And, you know, I'm really sacrificing myself for that in order to look a certain way, to look my best on a stage. And that's my ultimate motivation is that I know that it's temporary. I know that I can, you know, eventually have those foods that I want over a course of time. You know, after I'm finished with the contest, I know I'll be a lot happier with the sacrifice, knowing that I was able to overcome that temptation. You know, and then um, I'll just be so much happier knowing that I was able to overcome it and get the prize at the end. So. That's really what it's about. It's about getting the prize at the end. And, yeah. you know, mindset. You know, it's all about your mindset. You have to get, you know, even before yeah. you can get to the point where you want to work out, it starts in your mind. You have to train yourself to think different. Yeah. You have to tell yourself to do something different. You have to talk to yourself. And, yeah, they say don't talk to yourself. You're crazy. Well, talk to yourself. Answer yourself because self is what's important. That's right. You have to be true to who you are. You have to be true to you. You have to tell yourself that you're going to do it. You have to hold yourself accountable yeah. and find an accountability party like I did. <laughs> you may not be as lucky as I to find Charles Parker, yeah. but I'll share him with you. Exactly. Exactly. And it's a partnership, you know, she's motivating me because I'm feeding off her commitment. So it's not like uh, I'm always keeping her accountable, but she's also keeping me accountable of the goals I have in mind too. You know, her dedication, her sacrifices that she's making, you know, the people that I follow on Facebook that I see every day, you know, at the gym, working out, having those motivational quotes, it motivates me as well. So it's not just about you know, being as a trainer, we need our own motivation. So it's the people out there that's ultimately helping me as well. That's so right. Thank you for that. So Fashion Eastas, I need you to follow me at um, what am who am I? Oh, be true to you and me <laughs> at um, Instagram. I need you to follow CP3. CP3. I need you to like our page. I need you to share our page, share our videos to help us you know, reach out to others and let us know that we're making a difference not only in your life and others' lives as well because yeah. we're not being selfish. We want to share. We want you to know that you can, you too can accomplish your goal. You too can go out and reach goals. You can live healthy so you can live long life for your children, for your husband, so you can enjoy your life and not be sick in a bed or in a chair. But take care of this temple that God has given us now. Yeah. You know, by eating right, exercising, and you know, Charles Parker is getting ready to put on a boot camp. Yeah, it's so, coming up in yeah. the next few weeks, so we're going to put out more information on Facebook coming soon, so start getting ready for it now. I mean, it's going to be pretty intense. If you haven't, you know, made your way to the gym yet, go ahead and start with a basic walk, you know, at least four days a week, even if it's for 20 or 30 minutes a day. 
Um, start doing some push-ups at home, sit-ups, you know, squats and lunges at home, you know, just to kind of get your body revved up for this upcoming boot camp. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a launch really for your overall exercise program if you haven't started anything in mind. You know, so just let this be a launching pad for your fitness journey for the rest of the year. All right, it's almost December now. Yeah. You know, January first is coming up, but we're we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on today. You know, trying to get our bodies right today, and not January first like everybody else is waiting right, on. Right. You yeah. know, despite the holidays and all of that. So it's time to get fit right now, cause you. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Cause so. Thanksgiving is coming. People are gonna eat a lot of food. Christmas yep. is coming. You're gonna eat a lot of food. Yeah. Some of you guys gonna eat a lot of candy for Halloween, <laughs> and then you're gonna have pounds on top of pounds, and yep. you got high blood pressure, you got diabetes, you got high cholesterol, you, get, you can have a stroke, you can have a heart attack. We don't yeah. want that. Take care of your body. Absolutely. So come see us. Come see us. I'm your girl, Angela, with the Be True To You talk show. Remember, in everything you do, you must always be true to you. And this is... CP3, NutriFit, the paradigm of wellness. Out. See ya.